Hey, welcome back to the channel guys in today's video we are going to be taking a look at a new seamless transition pack for davinci resolve Now you can find the link to it in the description below. This pack will work on DaVinci Resolve 17 only. It will not work on 16 because this pack uses the fusion transitions and not the adjustment layers. Um, so make sure you're running DaVinci Resolve 17 before using this. And now this pack contains 500, uh, more than 500 transitions, contains light leaks and uh, LUTs as well. So you can visit the link in the description and download this transition pack and you can see that there is a sale going on right now so until 12th chan this pack will cost you just $19. Alright so once you download the pack it will be in a zip format and then you will just have to extract it and after you extract it you will get the folder. So let's uh, see what's inside this folder. Let's expand this and you can see we have the bonus files uh, let's expand that and the bonus folder will contain the light leaks folder and the LUTs uh, and then we have the help folder and in this folder you have the path to install transition uh, the text file and it also contains the video tutorials so you can just use the video tutorials and it will help you to install these transitions the LUTs and the light leaks and finally we have the transition folder and it contains around more than 500 transitions uh, now to install these you have to let's open up our path to install transitions text file so once you open that up and you can see that this is the location where you have to install this now obviously for windows users the path will be different so i'm going to go to my hard drive and click on the library folder application support black magic design davinci resolve open up the fusion and go to templates which is the last folder double click on that and then we go to edit folder double click on that and finally we have the transitions folder here so just double click on that and here you have to paste in all these transitions so expand the transitions folder and select all I'm going to hold the control key and deselect these folders. I just want these settings file and just simply drag and drop it inside this transitions folder. All right, so it's going to take a few seconds and after it's done, and now you can go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve. If it was already open, make sure you close it first and then reopen it. Right, so once you open up your DaVinci Resolve, uh, in the effects library, you can see under video transitions, you have to scroll down till you see fusion transitions. And in the fusion transitions, you'll see all of your uh, transitions over here, the circle rotation and the pan to left, right, and all, all these transitions basically. Now to apply it, it's pretty simple. You just have to select any of these transitions and just drag it onto the junction of your clips now for images it's quite simple you just drag and drop in between and it will work as expected but for videos it's slightly different so on my second timeline i have this video over here if i just apply the transition on the clip it will not work this is not only with this transition pack even the default fusion transitions won't work so for example this brightness flash if i apply it it will not work and that's because fusion transitions need the ending frame of your first clip and the beginning frame of your second clip 
to work with so if i just select my second if i select my first clip and like trim it down uh, and do the same thing with the second clip just trim it down and combine these two together now i can apply any transition that i want on this clip and now i can even extend the length uh, the length will uh, extend only up to the amount you cropped your clips uh, so just keep that in mind so now let's just apply any transition so i'm going to apply this circle rotate and zoom let's apply that and now you can select that transition and change its length um, so i'm going to keep it uh, around two seconds and on the right side you can see that we have the duration and the frames over here and you also have the option to align the transition at the end of the first clip or at the beginning of the second clip or you want to keep it in the middle then we also have the controls for the motion blur you can turn that off if you want um, but i would suggest you to keep that on you can change the quality of the motion blur set that to something like 20 or something else and the shutter angle is also for the motion blur how much motion blur you want so you can just multiply that by two and you will get a high higher quality motion blur but this will take up uh, some of your rendering time so just keep that in mind so you can just let this animation or this transition render you can see the red bar at the top so it's rendering your transition and once it turns blue you can play your animation smoothly inside davinci resolve so i'm going to go to my first timeline where i have all these images to make my life easier uh, so i'm just going to apply some different transitions to this so let's go to the next transition which is pan to left elastic and you can scrub through the transitions to see how they will look uh, before you apply them um, pan to left uh, is also all these transitions are pretty neatly done and you can just see that for yourself let's use this pan to right and you can just extend the length and play this animation and see how that looks all right so this one comes with another setting which is this force and uh, the force if we go to the end of the transition uh, you're going to notice it over here it's basically the bounce at the end that uh, this animation has so if you want more harder bounce you can increase that to maybe around three and you will get a different bounce impact this time so as you can see uh, it's much more heavier this time uh, so let's just delete this and use a different transition uh, perspective is there and uh, I'm just going to use the rotate to left so let's just drag that in and this is how the transition looks pretty smooth uh, you can click on that transition and uh, turn on motion blur turn it off you can increase the quality and the shutter angle and we have the rotation cycle um, so that's the amount of rotation your uh, your transition will do so right now it will only do one rotation because it's 360 uh, but if you want to do the rotation twice you can multiply it by two i hit enter and now it will rotate twice uh, this transition will rotate twice if we change that to 180 which is half of the rotation then you're going to notice that your image will flip and uh, that is not what we want so just keep that in mind when you use this uh, rotation cycle that you start with 360 and you increase it and not uh, use a value lower than 360. i'm going to delete this and uh, let's try a last one so let's try this split left and right and see how that looks uh, so just click on that and you have the same option for the quality and the shutter angle so that's how you can use these uh, transitions inside your video or inside your images now the next thing i'm going to show you how you can install the LUTs go up to DaVinci Resolve and you'll have the preferences over here click on that and then go to general and you have the LUT location over here i'm going to click on add and i'm going to go to the same folder where i extracted my file and it's in my downloads folder and once you're inside that folder double click on that double click on the bonus files folder 
then we have the LUTs folder, double click on that. And once you are inside this folder where you'll see all these uh, different folder names, then just have to click on open over here. Once you click on open, click on save, and then go to the color tab over here. And now in the LUTs, make sure you click on that, right click on the LUTs and click on refresh. And now after it finishes refreshing, you can see all of your LUTs inside the panel. So you can click on these to see how they will look. Uh, so I'm going to just double click on this to apply it. And if I go back to the edit page, you can see that it will apply the LUT successfully. If you want to change it, you can go back to edit page and uh, double click on a different lot double click on that and just go back to edit page and you will see the changes will take place immediately inside the edit page and now it's time to show you how to use the light leaks and again it's quite simple go to the same folder where you have your files go to bonus files and we have the light leaks pack so you can choose any light leak over here and i'm going to use the very first one and this is the light leak we have over here so you can just drag and drop it and then make sure you go to inspector and under composite you will see the composite mode click on that and change that to screen and once you do that you will have your light leaks over here now i like to use these light leaks as a transition as well so you can just uh, place these in between the clips and find a spot where the light leak is at the maximum so maybe somewhere over here and I can just like trim it down and create a sort of a quick light leak transition out of it so if I just play this you can see that it just creates a nice transition but you can use it for other purposes as well so that's completely up to you Alright guys, uh, so that wraps up this video. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe to see more content. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.